Okay, uh, next I'm going to have a look at some binomial questions from the additional maths uh, past paper for Cambridge IGCSE. Uh, these are also suitable for certainly IB, standard level, uh, and even higher level as well. Um, so let's have a look. This is the, the content syllabus uh, that we've got to look at, basically using the binomial theorem, uh, understanding the general, the general formula for the, for the uh, theorem, that's it really, and then we just we, we have a look at a few past paper questions. Um, so let's go. Uh, first question is ax plus b to the power 5. This really is to kind of just make sure that you understand the general pattern. Um, I'll start with my pattern here. So 5 choose 0, uh, ax to the power 5. This is going to be b to the power 0, so it's just going to be 1. The only really thing that can go wrong here is forgetting to put the brackets in, so make sure you put your brackets around the AX, um, and it's going to be 5 choose 1, and then AX to the power 4, and then B to the power 1, and then the next one would be 5 choose 2, AX cubed, B squared, next one 5 choose 3, AX squared, B cubed, and 5 choose 4, AX to the 1, B to the 4, and then 5 choose 5, B to the 5. So that's the pattern the kind of the idea that we're going to be, be using. Obviously, then we need to use a calculator, what 5 choose 0 is, and then obviously just remember that we've got a to the power 5, x to the power 5, and so on. So that's kind of the pattern that we're going to be following. Um, the other thing just to be aware of, um, this is the formula for n choose r. Don't really need it for, certainly for additional, uh, even for standard level, it, it very rarely comes up. I think really as long as you remember these things here, n choose 0 is 1, it doesn't matter what you know, value of n here, 10 choose 0 is 1, 15 choose 0 is 1, n choose 1 is always n, you know, for example, 15 choose 1 is 15, and n choose 2, it's the only one that's a bit more complicated, is n times n minus 1 over 2. Okay, as long as you remember those, I think you're pretty much okay rather than this formula. It's also probably worth just kind of being aware of Pascal's triangle. You know, this sometimes is a quick, if it's non-calculator, of kind of actually working out what the coefficients are. So, for example, if I look on this row here, this tells me 4 choose 0, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2, 4 choose 3, and 4 choose 4. So, you, you can actually use Pascal's triangle to quickly work out the coefficients as well. Anyway, let's have a look at some past paper questions. Here we go. Uh, first one is find the term in x4 in the expansion 3x squared minus 2 over x to the power 5. Now, you may be able to kind of just look at this and work out which one's going to be. You may just prefer just to write out the expansion and then kind of work, you know, backwards from that. Um, and there we go. I'm just going to write out the expansion. This will be 5 choose 0. It's just it's going to be 1. 3x squared to the power 5. And then minus 2 over x to the power 0. So it just gives me this. This is my 5 choose 1 term. This is my 5 choose 2 term, 5 choose 3, etc. I'll stop at this one because I can notice that this is going to give me an x4 term. I'm going to get an x squared and I'm going to times the coefficient, so that's going to be x to the power 6. I'm going to get an x squared term on the bottom, so therefore that's going to cancel out to give me an x4 term. So this is the one that I want. It's important I've got my brackets in, you know, because if I'm dealing with negatives that can cause a problem. So make sure you put your brackets in. And it's just a case of now. Stick it on your calculator. 5 choose 2. Do I've got a 3 cubed. Don't forget to do that bit. I've got a minus 2 squared. Again, make sure you put your brackets around it. Of my x4. Therefore, the 1080 is the coefficient of x to the power 4. Okay, uh, next one. Um, we've got 2x cubed plus b over x to the power 8. And then they've given us, we're kind of working backwards a little bit on this one. They've given us the first uh, expansion, and we need to find out what the, the terms, uh, what the letters are. So let's just do exactly the same thing as before. Uh, my expansion would be 8 choose 0, 2x cubed to the power 8, 8 choose 1, 2x cubed to the 7, b over x1, etc, etc. And then once I've got this, I can actually, I've got enough information now to solve it. I can know that, um, all right, let's actually expand out. Find out what we've got. Um, if I use this one here, the 8 choose 1, now I've got a 3 and a 7. It's in 
uh, brackets, I'm going to multiply the powers together. So it's going to give me h use 1, 2 to the power 7, x to the 20, and then I've got a b, and that's going to be equal to, I know that this thing here is 3072, that's x to the 20, um, and therefore I just need to work out uh, what is b going to be here. So if I basically do 3072 divided by all of this number here, I'm going to get end, end up with b is equal to 3. Okay, um, and then the second bit, um, I'm looking for the bit where I end up with uh, basically no x. So I'm just ending up with uh, a constant term. Now again, if you carry on in your expansion, you're going to get h u 6, 2x3 squared, and b over x to the power 6. You'll notice here that 3 times 2, that's going to give me an x to the 6, b and 6, so that's going to be x to the, sorry, x and 6, that's going to be x to the power 6 on the bottom. So the x's are going to cancel. So this is the term that I want that's going to give me uh, basically just the constant term. So I do h u 6, I've got 2 squared, and I've got b6. That thing there is going to be the coefficient. So therefore, k, which is my coefficient, is 81,648. Okay, just, uh, just last question. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Ascending powers of x. Just read the question carefully. Ascending powers. So we're starting with a constant term. Then it's going to be x to the power 1, x to the power 2. So make sure you read the question carefully. Uh, so here we go. 6 choose 0, 2 to the power 6. That's just the constant term. 6 choose 1, 2 to the 5, minus x over 4 to the 1. 6 choose 2, 2 to the 4, minus x over 2 squared. Be careful with your negatives. Make sure you're in brackets, expand it out, and I'm going to get 64 minus 48x plus 15x squared. Now, the second part is a bit more, uh, we've got a bit, a bit more work to do. Uh, hence, find the term independent of x in this expansion. Now, look at the connection. We've already got the 2 minus x over 4 to the 6. We've already done this bit, but they've now given us a new bracket to multiply by. So we look at this and go, well, let's, let's write out our answer from the previous question. We only care about this part of the expansion. We don't care about the rest because we're only looking for the term independent of x. If we do anything extra, you know, whatever we times it by here, we're not going to get anything independent of x. So we basically do 64 minus 48x, 15x squared. We put that in this bracket, and then we just write out this bracket. And then what we're looking for is, well, how do we get something that doesn't have an x in? Well, 4 times 64 that's obviously not going to have an x in it. We're going to have 2 over x times by the minus 48x. Obviously, the x's will cancel out in this one. And 3 over x squared multiplied by 15x squared. Again, the x squared is going to cancel, so we just end up with constant term. So we end up with three possible answers, 4 times 64, 2 over x times minus 48x, and 3 over x squared times 15x squared. If we simplify all that out, we end up with uh, 205. So that's the constant term independent of x. Okay, oh, one last question. Here we go. Very, very similar. So 2x squared minus 1 over 3x, first three terms. Descending, read the question carefully. So this time we're starting with the biggest power of x. 5 choose 0, 2x squared to the 5. This is my second term. This is my third term. Same idea as last time. 32x to the 10 minus 80 over 3x7. 80 over 9, x4. Exactly the same idea as this one. Coefficient of x7. Well, this bit here, I've already worked out this. And then I've now got a new bracket to multiply it by. So let's do the same as last time. Put our previous answer in one of the brackets. The new bracket over here. And then we're saying, oh, how do we end up with an x7? Well, I could do 3 times by minus 80 over 3 x7. That would give me an x7 term. Or... 1 over x cubed times by 32x to the 10. Again, the, the x cubed and x10 is going to give us the x7. So there we go. End up with 32x7 and a minus 80x7. So therefore, I get minus 48x7. Therefore, what's the coefficient? The coefficient is minus 48.